I decided to add a third part to my tutorials on putting a 3D Blender model into a web page. Uh, when the web page loads, even though it's interactive, uh, because it's static, the user might think that it's a 2D image of a 3D model. But if the model is spinning, then it becomes clear that it's a hardware accelerated 3D model. Still interactive, but continuously spinning. I'm going to start with a very simple example. Here we have some X3D data. Uh, we have a 3D scene. In that scene is a 3D shape. The geometry is a box and the material is a red color. What are the extra lines of code we need to add to make the red cube spin? If we look at the beginning part of the X3D data, we've added a transform tag wrapped around the shape to say we're going to transform that shape, i.e. rotate it. The transform must be given an ID and we've called it cube. They don't use an ID attribute, they use a defined, defined as cube attribute. Besides the transform tag, the other code that makes the cube spin are these four lines here. I'm not going to go into too much detail in this tutorial. I've done a separate tutorial where I go into detail about these lines. I'll just point out two things that you need to change. This, in the time sensor tag, is the duration of the rotation. So one rotation at the moment takes five seconds, so you alter that value for how fast you want to spin your 3D model. The other thing you must change is whatever ID you gave your shape matches the two node attribute here. Uh, this root tag links the orientation interpolator which spins the object and is given the ID spin things. The root tag links that interpolator to your shape. So how do we make a Blender model spin? Here I've got um, X3D data exported from Blender of a monkey mesh. Um, in here we have the shape and uh, here we have the geometry. It's an indexed face set and we have all the faces that make up the monkey and the coordinates, all the vertices that make up the monkey mesh. If you look, the Blender exporter has already given the shape a transform tag with the ID monkey. So all we have to do is add the four lines of code to make the monkey spin. If we look at where the four lines are, they're just before the closing scene tag. So I'm going to copy this, go into my gre uh, green monkey and find the scene tag and open that up with the enter, pressing enter and paste in the lines. Um, we could change how fast we want to spin it. I'm going to leave it at 5, but the one we must change, the transform is called monkey. So if I copy that, control C, and the two node here must be changed to monkey, control V, and that's ready to spin. Remember to save if you're using Notepad++ and then when we open that page in Google Chrome we get our spinning monkey. For this more complex model the data that was exported consisted of multiple shapes and I did have to add uh, a new transform tag which acts as a grouping tag as well um, and I gave it the name monkey and the transform the closing transform tag had to enclose all the shapes so I had to add that tag but besides that it was the same four lines of code and the same link to the two node monkey and that gave me the more complex model. 
That's the end of this tutorial. I'll put all the files on my website freemovies.co.uk at the Blender channel there. Thanks for watching and goodbye.